So I have also created just an empty console and we will be testing if it can do some C sharp and how good it will be to actually go and create different things in C sharp. So let's start out a little bit soft. So let's say that it should write a console application that prints the numbers from 1 to 100 and I also just go and say in C sharp and to be a little bit more fair I will also say in .NET 8 because I've set up the project in .NET 8 so let's try and see what it comes up with so it came with a solution and we don't really need all this we only need the thing inside the main here so let's go and copy this and test it out and let's run the application so that was pretty successful so the easy task here it actually completed very well so let's try to to do something a little bit more complicated than just a for loop. So to test DeepSeek a little bit better, I will go and make this prompt here where I say write a console application that reads a string, count the numbers of words in the string, and print the result in the console. And this time I don't want to be specifying that it's C-sharp. I will see if it's remember that it's, it is C-sharp that we talk about. I know ChatGPT will remember, but let's see how DeepSeek is doing. So it actually did remember that we want to use C-sharp and also that it's .NET 8. So that is a good sign. And we can see here it actually do something where we can input a string. So that would be the first thing that we're going to do when we open the program. It will then use a function called count words. So it created the function down here called count words. So let's actually go and see if this is working because then last it will say number of words is the word count. And this time I will just go and say copy and put it into the program here. And let's try to run it. So, so good so far. Let's go and type something. And if I count the words here, I have 10 words. So let's go and hit enter. And it actually says number of word is 10. So again, so far, so good. It is definitely not a stupid chatbot, this one. So let's go and test some even more complicated stuff. So this time I will really go and push DeepSeek because what I wanted to do is to go and create a console app for managing inventory, allow users to add, remove, and list some items. And each item should have a name, quantity, and price. And then I also want to include a feature to calculate the total value of the inventory. So I'm pretty excited to see how it will go and do this. So it actually created a lot of code here. And it also gave an example of how I should run it. So that is pretty nice. But of course, it also has to work. This is all the code that we get. And I'll just go and say copy and put it into our project. And right now, I just paste it in. And I actually don't want to go and look in the code right now. I just want to go and test it and see if it works. So we do have a little inventory management system here. It says we can add an item, remove an item, list the items, and calculate the total inventory value. So let's go and select one of them. I do believe it might want us to go and say one, two, three, four, or five. So let's try to go and add something to the system. It will say a name. So let's say a PlayStation 5. Quantity, we have around 100 of them. And the price, let's say 400. So the item is successfully added. I will just go and add two more to see if that works. Okay, so I added a, a Xbox with a quantity of 50. And the price should be 400. And I also added Nintendo Switch, 20 pieces to 200 each. So let's try to go and list them. I will say number three. And we do actually get a list here. Looks pretty nice. So let's go and see if we can calculate the total inventory value. So I say four. And we do get the value here. And it is actually the right value. I just did a quick calculation of this. And it actually matched the total inventory price. So let's try to go and remove an item. So I say two into the name of the item to remove. So let's say PlayStation 5. And the item was removed successfully, it says. And let's just list it again. And now we can see that it's actually gone from the list. So I would say that DeepSeek actually did a very good job here because everything is working. So I just want to go and make a last push to DeepSeek to see if it can go and clear the console every time we go and make a command here. Like if I say one and I want to add an item, then it would go and just delete all 
there is so that we don't have this long console here but we just get a clear console every time we do a command here so let's try to tell it to do it and see if it can actually implement it into the solution that it already created so i will go and say go and clear the console after each feature so that the console stays clean of course this also depends how you actually go and formulate these prompts to it because maybe it don't understand this the way that i understand it but I will just go and try it out. So it added the console.clear, which I was also expecting, but let's go and copy the code now and put it in again. And let's try to test it. So let's go and add an item. And I will say again, PlayStation 5, we have 500 and to a price of 400. So it actually says press any key to continue. It just said it was successfully. And that's a good thing to know before you actually continue. So it actually put in some user experience because this was actually a good thing to do. And let's go and press the key, a key to continue. And then it will start over. So let's go and list this item and now we can see it. And you just have to press a key to come back to the inventory management system. So I would say that DeepSeek is doing a very good job here. Of course, systems will be even more complicated than this in real life. But I would say that this is actually pretty good because it's on its own created a whole inventory management system. It is of course not connected to any database, but when it can do this, I do also believe that it could actually go and create a database and create some files to make a connection to a database and handle it very good. So yeah, it was just out of curiosity that I created this video because I want to see if DeepSeek was actually good at programming. And I must say that it, it actually is. But just for fun, I actually gave chat GPT the exact same assignment here. And this was what it comes up with. It looked very much like deep seek and i just added a playstation 5 again like i did before it then go and show the menu again and then i tried to list it so we can see that chat gpt put it in just a little bit other way than deep seek did it put like columns here and then we can put rows and that might be a little bit more clean to look at actually but of course it is very small differences because both the chatbots could go and create the application so a last thing i want to try out is how it will go and make some art out of css and html alone so i told it to go and make mario in css and html and let's try to see how that looks i also did it with chat gpt so we can go and compare so actually out of the box without doing anything with the code and without even reading it this is what DeepSeek came to create it do actually look a little bit mario so i will say that this is a pretty good result so let's go and try and see what chat gpt came up with and it actually came up with the same background color but it didn't it didn't really print anything there was a lot of code but it didn't really print anything out of the box here i also tried here in another browser and it's actually just the same result here this was DeepSeek, and this was chat gpt and to be fair i don't know why chat gpt doesn't show up I tried to look at the code, but I could not see any place that there should be anything wrong. But it doesn't work out of the box, and that's what I'm looking at right now. So the DeepSea could create this like 20 times cheaper than ChatGPT, or at least that is what I have heard in the news, that it should be developed for like 20 times less and doesn't use so much computer power that ChatGPT does, then I would say this is a pretty good start for DeepSeek. The downside right now is of course that ChatGPT have access to the internet and DeepSeek don't have access to the internet yet, but well, someday it will also have access to the internet. And maybe it's also good for ChatGPT that they actually get some competition right now. But yeah, please go and like and subscribe the channel and let me know what your opinion is on DeepSeek in the comments. But thank you for watching and go and have a nice day. Bye.